Good morning, fish heads. Jen Cravasi at Jekyll Baits, and this is your Monday morning bait call. We've got a few to show you this morning. It's been a good weekend, productive weekends. I have been in the shop all weekend, and I'll be in the shop all week this week. Putting together a few more things for you guys. I hope you enjoyed the Mr. Tackle Box spray session featuring this Excite Baits, which we are going to start off with because it's going out the door this morning. This is the Sugar Skull. To celebrate, uh, today is the second. Is today the second? Hey, Feliz Dia de Muerte. Happy Day of the Dead. This is the Sugar Skull going out to Dolly Diaz Gilly this morning. Thank you. Cool little bait, about eight feet, half an ounce good to go she's gonna have a good time with it and she's one heck of an angler as well the next thing that I want to show you guys is this little guy right here I've never fished one of these I'm gonna fish it I'm gonna fish it this week I'm gonna try and sneak out one day this week I was gonna try and get out um, Sunday yesterday but unfortunately I did not have the opportunity I stayed in the shop and worked but uh, put this together last night. I happened to notice that it was in one of my bags from Tim over at Crossroad Tackle. I'm like, this thing looks cool. Now, I will say this. It is put together through a band. It's an elastic band, which makes it super slinky in the water that should fish well. Looks like it's a little wake bait. That is the Chinese symbol hand-painted by me for dragon, which is kind of what re reminds me of. And uh, this little knucklehead, how long is this? Let's see, I've got the law stick down here. It's about nine and a half inches long. And it's about an ounce in weight. So I will need uh, something a little bit heavier to throw it with. But I'm going to see how it does. Now, the one thing that I know about el elastic bands is that they just don't hold up as well as a regular swim bait would. Um, they will dry rot after a while, and if anything that's a toothy critter like a pike or a muskie goes after this, lights out. This thing is destroyed. But if it catches me a fish, as long as it pops or hits that uh, first belly hook, I should be able to at least catch one on it. So that is going to be the goal. I'm probably just going to do uh, a fish with stuff I've never fished with before video, which I think you guys have been like asking and asking and asking. So I'm going to try and produce that in the next couple of weeks here for you guys. But that is a fun little bait. It was cool to paint. Just super fluorescent. It's just basic Createx fluorescent paints. I use the fluorescent red, fluorescent yellow, and fluorescent sunburst. And then just a black overlay and stencils from Brian Best over at Anarchy Model UK. You guys have loved this little pattern. It reminds me of Drogon, of course, everything Game of Thrones, House of the Dragon. The prequel is coming up on HBO. They have been filming it. They started throwing trailers out for it. Um, pretty excited to see what they do with that series. And, of course, I, I'm, I'm one of those bitter people that wishes Season 8 had ended differently. And I'm one of those folks that wishes George would finish the Dagum books. Um, but I know he's got a lot on his plate. This is the baby drag on this. This is a three-quarter ounce, two and a half inch vertical ripping lippin. So it's that lipless crankbait. And this is these are really heavily used in Europe. Um, they're produced and made in China. Most everything is, but this thing is an exceptional swimmer. It'll swim at you and it'll swim up and rip really really well off the bottom which is primarily how these baits are used this is that fury ko and really this was the first i've never tried to do dragons before uh, just happened to be looking at some stuff and how i could recreate the scaling with that um, it's pretty much easier than it looks but it does involve multiple layers. The, the difficulty isn't in putting together the pattern. The difficulty is the time and effort put into this bait. This is multiple layers. You've got that fire belly underneath. 
Very cool. John's eyes. These are Jetson Lure eyes. These glow in the dark. I don't think that these do, but they're still really, really cool eyes. So, John over at Jetson, the man. And then we have the Autumn Schoolies. We have got a ton, 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 ton of these going out. This is just what I've pulled off of the clear coat rack so far this morning. But I've got a bunch more going out to customers. And uh, really, really excited. Now, some have gone out, some went out over the weekend. But if you, uh, if you have an open order with me, trust and believe that I am working furiously to get them done. Because I know what's happening and what's coming up. And just lots of stuff coming down that pipe for me. Now, this is interesting. Is it this one? Yeah. Can you see that reflective stuff going on in the cheek a little bit? Maybe there it is. You can see it there. So I painted this one. For, for those of you that are, are playing around with painting over existing baby bull shad and baby bull gills, this is over that pre-foiled um, trout. They have a rainbow trout. They, and they have their bluegill, two of the six patterns in the uh, bull shad are pre-foiled. So it makes it really easy just to lay down new patterns if you use transparent paint. And you can see a little bit of that reflective property in this third segment right here below my thumb. It's just something completely different. It's going to really catch the fish's attention. And I love doing it. You can see it more prominently in this green sunfish. I mean, that's just, that's just sexy. That is super dope right there. Man, that looks good. And that looks like a natural fish swimming in the water. So there's a lot of different things that you can do to kind of play around and come up with your own new patterns. Um, that's, this is a, it's an eraser. That's all that is, is an artist's eraser. The white crappie. And if these eyes look familiar, they should. Every Strike King 2.5, 1.5, 1.0 in the world uses them, um, and they're easy to get. These are not made in the United States, nor are Strike King baits. Um, so just, for example, do I even have one here? Yeah, I think I do. Yeah. So this is a Strike King in perch pattern, and there's that same eye. That's it. They sell them at Bass Pro Shop, these eyes, if you're interested. And they're actually pretty decent. Um, they're not overly expensive. And for the price, I think you get a card of like 50 or 100 for like 3 bucks. And they are that prism effect. And unless you're looking at the red eye shads, the lipless, just about every Strike King bait uses this eye from China. These eyes are cool. This is the uh, freshwater pearl, natural pearl eye. Boy, that's pretty. Something different. Occasionally, I'll throw you guys a curveball and put something completely different in. Just upgrade your eyes from just the standard. These, these are a little bit more expensive. And this is a 5 millimeter eye. And then we've just got a couple of these. These are the army greens. A little bit of blush sunburst on the throat that signature pattern right there on the, the little blue beard there and then I've just tricked out the uh, gill plate the ear flap and the pectoral fins and that is all the news is fit to print this morning thank you guys so very much for hanging out with me on the channel we are it's coming I know you're like oh my god so I'm doing I, I really can't reveal it yet. It's going to be big. It's going to be this week, so stay tuned. Probably Wednesday as a thank you. We're going to do that. I know we're about a week into 10,000 and over. We're just soaring beyond that now. So be subscribed. If you're not subscribed to the channel right now, hit that like button. Hit the subscription button. Get your notification bell because this week we are doing a massive giveaway, but you've got to be subscribed to the channel in order to participate and or win. And it's going to be a monster giveaway. So love you. Mean it. Thanks for hanging out. It's always good to see your smiling faces. And I will see you guys on the next video. Cheers. And happy casting from Jekyll Bates.